All right, I'm going to work on the saddle today, and I'm just going to start from the tree up on the horse, on the saddle lane. Um, that's a, a wax that I've run through my pasta machine, which gives it a nice, even thickness. Pasta machines can be a real good tool for uh, sculpting. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, I used to have a studio right next to a saddle maker's shop. So I learned a little bit about saddle making. Not enough to make my own saddle, but enough, enough to at least start building one. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is just start with the tree that the uh, saddle is uh, based on. Now I'm making an 18, hopefully an 1870s style saddle. And uh, this is just the beginning. And I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion <laughs> all right i want to make an exact copy of this and so i better get my magnifiers on because my eyes ain't that good anymore there we go i gotta get this light better situated here because what I do on one side I got to do on the other side I'm going to set this on here. There's a small gap between the uh, two halves of the uh, beginning of the saddle tree. Now, I've got to figure out how to do the horn and the back and keep everything together. Let me think about that for a second. I know the black wax is very hard to see 
It's Victory Brown Wax, in case you're wondering. Um, I've got to make... I'm just going to sketch in the, the uh, parts of this thing, so... It's not going to be permanent, just something to give me a guide as to what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to add the figure of the cowboy that I've already got. It's actually an Indian. And uh, let's get the uh, legs where they're supposed to be. Now, the cowboy is not going to be seated in his saddle. He's going to be kind of being thrown out, but i got to make the saddle so it looks like it fits him. I want to push that up a little bit, like that, Oop, off center, it would actually flare out a little bit more than that in the front, but uh, I used to have a book with all the construction and everything, and I can't find that book. I've moved too many times in the last couple of years, so... That's one reason why it's probably in a storage someplace. All right, I'm going to take him off. I've got at least his seating area worked out. I'm going to put this aside someplace where it won't get hurt. I do have this old book that I have. In fact, it sold the uh, backbone of the, 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 the uh, book has fall, long fall, since fallen off. I don't know the title of the book. The only one I get is The Cowboy and His Horse is the uh, thing that's on the pages. And so I think that's probably the title of the book. But this just shows different uh, forms of uh, the fork in the front of the uh, saddle. And uh, the oldest uh, slick fork through the adaption of the bulge to the modern swell fork, which you can see here. Um, I personally like this, but this one would be a harder one to stay in if the horse started uh, uh, bucking or something like that. This one would keep your legs in position a little bit better. I'm not sure because I don't ride a horse, so I don't. I couldn't tell you. Um, I got different shapes of uh, the. Uh, cantle of the horse a uh, saddle I mean and you know the, the the old ones had high cantles but as you go by uh, as time goes by these uh, cantles get smaller and smaller all right I'm going to get my liquid candle out because I'm going to be using heat uh, as I work on this and uh I gotta put that cap so it doesn't get lost. And, uh, oh man. I haven't made a saddle in a long, long time. So this is, uh, almost like doing it for the first time. Now, I do know that the, from the back of the cantle to the uh, fork, there's a slight rise. So I'm going to try to work that in there. But right now, I'm just going to, well, i got to heat my blade up first. Come on, Dave. Get smart here. There we go. I'm going to uh, make a armature for the horn and the uh, fork. But I just got to decide how
tall to make that fork. I'm going to make it about that tall. I forgot I had a background that I made a long time ago uh, for situations like this. Anyway, I'm going to... I worked out the uh, height and width, so I'm going to heat the uh, two bent areas here and then line it up by my eye and try to place it down onto the uh, tree that I made. You, you know, so it's balanced and centered. There we go. That will give me a uh, armature to work on. That split uh, between the uh, cantle and the uh, yoke um, is uh, there. Uh, it will be... I'm going to move my back part of my saddle back just a little bit there that's just for reference for now okay now I've got my wax not completely soft but it's just soft enough I'm gonna blow my candle out I don't want to burn myself down <laughs> all right I'm gonna Call it quits for today because it's taken me quite a while to get to this point. Took a little thinking about what I was going to do. And uh, tomorrow I'll start uh, building the uh, fenders and everything else that goes on to the uh, saddle. Um, and uh, fine tuning the tree. The reason I did the uh, armature in the uh, horn of the saddle is because I've done this before where I didn't. I thought I could get away with not having an armature there. But it really has to have an armature. Because if you don't, uh, it has a tendency to bend every time you hit it. And that can be aggravating when you spend a lot of time getting a horn just the way you like it. Alright, i got some shaping to do and I'll uh, do that tomorrow. Ah, beginning of the saddle. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.